So the installation process for IWF Movie Making is pretty straightforward. You basically just go to the website and uh, go to the IWF Movie Making page where you can just click download which will download the launcher you need. You can just start this launcher and click yes to grant it permissions and then it will greet you with this message. Then you can just click ok and it will start downloading all the necessary files you'll need uh, to start the game with a client loaded. Once you get to this screen, you can just click Start Movie Making, which will essentially start the game with the modifications loaded, so you can start recording immediately. So once you're in the game's main menu, you can use the usual Record Engine console key, which is below your escape key, or F10 to open the console. If you press Shift alongside that, it will open the console output window, which will display information like messages, warnings or errors. Um, I've tried my best to replicate this uh, console autocomplete feature you can see in uh, MW2 for example or Call of Duty 4 where if you start typing a diva or a command like CD draw to D it will try to automatically complete your input and show the uh, value of DVAR and any other possible DVARs that match your input. Um, I highly recommend checking out the help command which will display a list of commands that are currently in the in the client so you have a general overview of what you can do. Loading a demo can be done in two ways. You can either just open the console and type in the demo command followed by the demo file name of the demo in your local slash main slash demo folder or you can just go into your vault and theater menu which will show a list of all the demos you have in that folder so you can just click on one and click on play which will load the demo. The client contains an extended G hardcore diva which will disable most of the unnecessary HUD elements that are in the game. This way you can make clean POV recordings without any two-dimensional sprites or text obstructing your view. In case you are still seeing names popping up in the upper right corner when using G Hardcore 1 though, you can open the menu by pressing tab and then click strings to view the string removal screen. In this screen you can click on HUD strings that you want removed which will then be added to the blacklist on the right hand side. These strings won't be displayed anymore. When taking a look at the available tabs in the IW5 Movie Making menu, you see a tab entitled MISC. This tab contains two switches, one for green screen settings and the other one for depth map toggling. You can turn the latter into a grayscale image for use in various video editing programs. To the right you have a menu which allows easy customization of fog parameters such as color, opacity and distance. You can also easily share or save your settings by clicking the copy to clipboard button which will copy your command string to your clipboard. This command can be entered into the in-game console to set the fog settings to exactly what they were when you click the copy to clipboard button. The lower part of the MISC menu contains a list of config files which the client was able to find in your MW3 directory. You can just click one of these to load its DVARs. Alternatively, you can always use the exec command to load a config by name. There's also a few custom DVARs I added that enable you to customize the in-game kill score. By checking the autocomplete results, you'll be able to see that there are multiple DVARs allowing you to change the color, scale, font and position of the score. There have been major improvements to the whole Dollycam system compared to the old MW3 client. If you open the menu and go to the Dollycam tab, you see some basic information about the current cam path. You also see the button menu in which you can assign keys to the basic functions of the Dollycam such as placing a point or clearing the points. In the normal Dollycam mode you can just place four or more camera nodes at different points in time. Once you click the start dolly button, the client will automatically jump to the starting tick of the cam path you have placed and replay your cinematic. There are two interpolation modes available in the release version of the client. One being the usual HLIE camera path and the other one being a simple Bezier curve which may be smoother in some scenarios. You can switch between the two by clicking the button in the Dollycam menu. There's also support for frozen Dollycam cinematics. By toggling the frozen Dollycam mode button in the menu, you can just place points independent of the current time. You can then press the usual start dollycam button which will then start a fixed speed dollycam movement. The speed of this movement can be adjusted by modifying the timescale. After placing the cam path you can utilize the various cam commands which allow you to modify the dollycam nodes individually. This way you can get the best looking cam path possible. Additionally you can export and import camera paths to share your cinematics with other people or just to re-record them later.
If you go in a private match, you'll notice that there are a few new commands available while playing. You can use bot spawn to spawn a bot at your current position, which will also face the direction you are facing. Moving bots is also possible using the bot move command. Using these two basic commands, you should be able to hit clips or just create certain death movements pretty easily. Another helpful shortcut is the V key, which will toggle no clipping in private match to ease the process of faking clips even further. In case you want to use Reshade with the client, I've modified the installer to nicely integrate into the IW5 movie making environment. You can get it by pressing the button in the launcher entitled Get Reshade. After that, you'll just have to follow the installation process as usual. Hi. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, I guess I'm pretty glad that we finally get to release this thing because it's been in development since about May and it's probably my biggest project yet and I'm really excited to get it out to everyone that wants to use it. I personally think that MW3 is a really underrated game when it comes to editing and I hope that I can do my part in uh, making MW3 more popular in the editing community because nowadays with the new Call of Duties coming out they are really not that good for editing. Um, I guess this is probably also the right point to say uh, thank you to everyone that helped me like mainly Mopem who has been a great like a huge help in this whole project like he has been co-developing this uh, client for well, the same amount of time I've been developing it and he's spent great amounts of time uh, like perfecting the launcher and making it as easy to use as it is now and yeah I'd also like to thank GM Zoys and Trip for basically inspiring me to do this and giving great feedback and ha being helpful with all of this like there are so many people that I have to thank um, all the beta testers I sent this to like Fallen, CFC, Auth, J, Selector, uh, Ozzy, uh, this guy. There are just uh, so many people that helped me uh, release this and I'm incredibly grateful for them doing it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. If you have any suggestions or questions or have any problems, you can always uh, contact me. My whole contact info is on the website where you can also download the client and yeah. <laughs>